things get worse for the group of gatherers when another bag of power turns up. Another, another bag is not ours. Because, so, the, sorry, sir, I, I, sorry, sir, I don't accept it wasn't yours. Nah, they are just driven up with the blue car. Down in Kaikoura, fishery officers are still on the lookout for people who are taking illegal power. And Howard's just spotted a group of guys who are gathering in an area where there are very few legal-sized fish. Well, there's one guy on the rocks with, beside a bucket and, um, and two or three guys in the water. They're throwing um, power up to the guy with the bucket. From here, they look to be small size, possibly. Down on the rocks, there are two guys gathering power and one looking after the bucket, but nobody seems to be doing any measuring. No, I'm Howard, I'm fishery officer, this is Mark. Just going to inspect your catch, basically. So you guys know your sizes and uh, limits and that, do you? Yeah. 85 where I come from. 85 where you come from, you're up from the Naki. Yeah. You know what it is for the rest of the country? Sorry? You know what it is for the rest of the country? Uh, it's got 100, 125. 125, you got any tools for measuring? No, we haven't. Taranaki is the only place in New Zealand where the legal size is 85 millimetres. And it doesn't take Howard long to confirm his suspicion that most of these power are under size. OK, so you got two legal size. OK. 19 undersize. With 19 undersized power, these guys are about to discover the cost of not reading the fisheries notice posted at the entrance to the beach. What we're going to do is um, put these undersized ones back yeah, straight away, yeah. and we'll go back to the truck, speak to you about it. Um, but we're going to write your tickets. Um, almost two bagfuls of, uh, of undersized power. That's going to be a ticket for each of the gatherers. The two gatherers each received an infringement notice for $250, and Howard and Mark moved on to the next group of power hunters. Just up on the point up here, we're just watching um, a group of about four. Um, the divers in the water are gathering power and throwing them up to the two further up the rocks there, and picking them up and putting them in a plastic bag. It's sort of bad practice, really. Any of the power that get thrown up are likely to be damaged. If they, um, if they don't find them or, uh, or they're undersized, it's, um, it's, yeah, the, the power are going to be toast anyway. Do you want to do this and I'll go down or the other way around? No, you cool? do these guys, I'll go down. During the time the group's been watched, only three people have been in the water and the guy in the striped hoodie is already putting his allowance of 10 power in the car. Hi there. I'm Howard, I'm a fishery officer. Where are all your power? Are these all your power? Yeah. Is there any more that I need to look for? Is there more power? More bags? Just these here? Because uh, my friend is going to come down and he's going to look around. Now, I have been watching you and I've seen you throwing your power up. So those power are uh, they're taken if we find them. It only takes a glance to see that there's too many power here. There's 10 legal size there and there's more in the bag, a couple more in the bag here. And to add to their problems, Mark's found another bag concealed among the seaweed. What's all that? Come on. Uh, OK. Well, now I asked you if there were any more. It's not ours. Yeah. Not yours? Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. no. Just to, we just pick up in the just, just one. I, I don't believe you. No, no, no. no. Just this yes, one. You've been standing here for yes, how long? The denials are hard to believe, but these guys aren't about to admit to anything. Yeah, uh, they're all yours. You gathered all these power. You've been standing in this area for a long time. There's been no one else here. We've been watching from well, up the road. You, you know, it's the, the right. size. You know, already check this. It's all these, all yeah. these are all yeah. Yeah, yeah, legal yeah. size. Yeah. yeah, legal size. But legal size isn't the issue here. The two divers have a total of 53 power. And it looks like they've taken a bag limit for at least um, you know, all the other people helping up on the shore as well. Who has been in the water gathering power? Hands up. Four. You're up the top? Uh, unless you can show me that why her hair is not wet and why she doesn't have a wetsuit. You, you are all in the water to get your ten, and she can find some without getting in the water. But how many are you, are you allowed to take off the rocks? 
I got 10. You got 10? Yeah. And sure. you got 10? Yeah. How many did you take? There are 53 power here. You should only have 20 down here. Okay, because I, I don't believe well, you, your wife and this man here, yeah, yeah, I, they were not yeah, gathering, yeah, yeah. And, and, and your wife was not gathering. I understand that. Yeah? They're separate. There, there are 33 extra. Have you got any explanation for the extra catch? My fault is just one more, right? One more? Yeah. One so you more say more. you've got 11? Yeah. This man says he's got 10. So where, where do the extra come one from? The because there are 53 here, yeah. minus your 11 yeah. is 42. Yeah. That means this man has to go to court. 42. If the other diver claims to be responsible for any more than 30 power, he'll face a prosecution. So it's not surprising that the number he comes up with is just short of that. We are 28. No, no from count? evidence, yeah, I can, can count. Yeah, yes, oh, no, I'm not going to count again. There are 10 in each bag, and there are three on top. Yeah. That one your bag? Yeah. The argument continues to go round in circles, and it's not long before the guys return to the question of the extra bag Mark found hidden in the weeds. Another, another bag is not ours. Just, the, sorry, sir, I, I, sorry, sir, I don't accept it wasn't yours. I do not accept that it wasn't yours. Because it was a white bag, same as what you guys have been using. It was at your feet. It is not ours. If, if, you, even, if you're not happy with the outcome, Okay. If you're not happy with the outcome that we come to today, you can take it to our boss and try to explain it to him. This man was standing over the bag and he didn't see it. This lady here was picking up power from off the rocks where they were being thrown up onto the beach yeah, because but I didn't, didn't see them, didn't see the bag. Do you understand why we don't believe you? No. No, I mean, we're just, you know... Yeah, we're wasting our time. Yeah. You two guys were the only gatherers. You two were the, in the water, throwing them out. We yeah. were sitting up there watching. You yeah. throwing them out. Yeah. This is impossible. Two hours in the... Yeah, but either way, that way exactly... you've got excess power. If you had just your ten, I, I would then maybe be able to yeah, believe you. Yeah, if you're in the tent exam, you go to the water... I want these the back in the water. Maybe he... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we need to carry on. He yeah. count long. The diver is still arguing about the extra bag when Mark and Howard wrap it all up and get the power back in the water. By the time they all reach the road, the diver's arguments have given way to the realisation that this is going to cost him money. Once I've finished interviewing you, I'm going to write you a, a fine, a ticket, an infringement notice. It's a, essentially a fine. It'll be for $500. And the others have all owned up to their part in the offence. Yeah, no, he admitted that he'd taken the um, 28. Um, the mystery bag that was found in the water was actually put there by his father. His father put him into the bag and then dropped him into the sea when he saw us coming. So. Both divers were fined $500 for taking excess power.